Yo, what is up everybody? Welcome back to another video of Nixtabo's Ultimate. And today I'm going to try and cut it as uh, quickly as I can. This is the backup video um, for Sunday. Uh, I'm recording this on January 5th. So by the time you guys are seeing this, this will be January 7th. But this is one half of my uh, New Year's resolution in 2024. So this is the 7th. Yeah, this is the 7th um video of 2024 uh, for my comic for my one day comic book but i'm recording this on friday because tomorrow because well by the time you guys are seeing this it was yesterday but for me it's tomorrow that um i was working and i'm also working today uh when you guys are seeing this so that's why this was recorded on friday but I'm going to go bowling here in a little bit, in about an hour or so. I just want to get this done and get this out of the way with now. Um, so this is one of my emergency videos. And my emergency video is stuff that I'm going to pre-record. If I know in advance I'm not going to have time to do stuff. Rather it be a day or two days ahead of time. Maybe even three days um, if it comes down to it. But this will be my review on um, Images Duke number one um like i said i i do have like a few this will be my second ever um indie book but um i will have stuff of like um i got a few marvel stuff i got a, a dc um i got a dc or by the time you guys are seeing this i got two dc issues in so this will be my second indie book um, i'm not really gonna waste too much time uh, talking just uh, if you guys do like uh, comic book reviews and I will be uploading daily daily comic book reviews every single day in 2024 so make sure you guys do not only smash this smash a like on this video but also make sure you guys do hit the subscribe button if you do like um, comic book reviews because like I said I'll be uploading this I'll be doing daily comic book uploads and I might even do twice a day who knows just for shits and giggles you might get one extra one and I might say, yeah, this is this episode, but honestly, guys, like, I got this done, but I'm, I'll be uploading at least once a day, um, for comic book reviews, and I might do another daily upload of something like wrestling or something, um, so I'm also gonna be going up to PA next week, so there will be some emergency videos, of uh, that will be coming out, and me pre-recording stuff, um, but... The thing is, guys, um, by the time March comes around, it should, everything should be pretty much slowed down. The only time that I'll have to do an emergency upload is if I have to work a day. Um, and, or if WrestleMania is going to be going on in, in April or something down those lines, like something will happen, um, just in case, because I know that there will be a time where in March, so... A good, like, first half of March, and then by the time we get to the second half, like, towards the end of March, I know it's going to be tricky and difficult for me to upload because my mom's, because my mother is planning on doing things, so that's the biggest, you know, that's the biggest difficulty, but anyways, guys, uh, nonetheless, I'm not going to really waste too much time here because I got to wrap this up, so it's going to be a quicker review than most, but this is about Duke number one, so I'm going to just get straight into it. Um, Duke of course, is G.I. Joe's Duke, and, um, pretty much we get to see him go on, and he gets, and he, uh, saw this robot thing, and I'm assuming it's, like, a Transformer, because that's just what I'm assuming, because, you know, G.I. Joe and Transformers, they do crossovers all the time with each other, um, so he saw this Transformer thing, and this one, and his Colonel, Colonel Hawk, Colonel Hawk, um, told him that he was just crazy and that he was just seeing things and Duke's like, I'm not seeing things like this country depends on me being like whatever. And yeah, it depends not only on me trying to save, but it depends on you saving it and the army saving it. Um, but he went to this chick named Dr. I forgot what her name was. I'm sorry, guys. I legitimately read this as fast as I could, but still managed to retain most of the knowledge. And I'm also very bad with names. So most of my reviews, I am terrible with names, especially whenever it comes to indie stuff, because I'm not really strong knowledge on indie books, but um, like I am with Marvel and DC. 
Uh, plus, also with side characters as well, not my strongest suit. So he talked to this one um, doctor lady, is what I'm just going to call her. And he was talking to her, and she's like, oh yeah, so that thing you saw, I believe you come with me, and I'll tell you about it. So she goes on, she does this whole conversation with him about how she has an idea that it's like Mars Laboratory, or Mar Mars something... Um, it's, it's called Ma Mars Industry, that's it, it's Mars Industry, who pretty much is the people who made that big, like, Transformer or whatever it is, because talks have been going around, like, six months later after he got fired by his colonel, quote-unquote, um, but, you know, it's whatever, but not many people are, like, really, like, freaking out about it, it's just people are talking about it, um, so, uh, the lady hired Duke to go on and break into Mars Industry and find out what the hell's going on with them and all that, and, uh, he did, he broke in, um, he looked at some of the stuff, he looked at some of the machinery that they were building, like tanks and the weapons and all those sorts of fun stuff, and, um... Pretty much he, I'm going to try and slow this down a bit so I can get at least a 10 minutes, a little bit more than. Um, so he's pretty, so he later on then got jumped. Um, yeah, he got jumped and uh, he got pretty much not really kicked out. He didn't get kicked out yet, but he got taken into this place where the person, where the person was like, hey, like you, like Duke, you aren't supposed to be here, What, whatever. Um, he didn't call him Duke, you know, because he didn't get his name, but their boss knew Duke's name, but he just didn't really want to say anything, and he mentioned about how, uh, the guys can't kill Duke, um, because if they do, then, and if Duke goes missing, that how the boss has had his eyes on Duke for so long, uh, that if Duke ever went missing, or he ended up being dead, that... Uh, their industry, that Mars industry, would be the first that would to be gone after, and that could potentially um, go on and just pretty much shut them down and run them out of business. And um, the his one client asked him if his family members killed anyone else, and he went, "Well, if my family members killed any people who broke in or tried to do something bad, we would have been gone, dead and buried centuries ago." Um, and we would have been run out of business centuries ago. So, uh, after they let Duke go, um, so, yeah, after they let Duke go, um, Duke was on the phone talking with someone, well, actually, he wasn't really talking with someone, he was, he was leaving a message with someone, um, for someone, and, um, by the time he was going to get back to, I don't know if it was his house, no, I'm sorry, it was to the one doctor that he was seeing, um, that he was talking to that got him into Mars, uh, industry, and he's like, hey, you won't believe what I saw, and then every, the room was just red, like, everyone was bloodied, and the doctor was the only person who was alive, and she's like, they robbed us of absolutely everything, but not everything, here's my phone, take it, and Duke was like, no, let me call, an ambulance for you, let me go on and try and get you out of here, but she was just like, no, don't do that, like, just let me die, take the phone, run and go on, do your own stuff, um, but don't let them catch you, and then an army came in, uh, and they were like, freeze, drop your weapon, switch your hands in the air, and he's like, hey, I'm not armed, which he wasn't armed at all, he was like, hey, I'm not armed, and they were like, Oh my god, he has a gun shoot, which that was my biggest thing that I wasn't really a big fan of. Overall, it's a solid book. I enjoyed it. I'm, I'm into military, but I'm not really into military stuff. It just depends on what it is, you know. It's just It's one of those kinds of things. Um, but they were like, hey, he has a gun. Uh, the reason why I don't really like that is because, you know, they were like accusing him of something that's very modern day with like real life stuff and how people act and... Not really like that, not a big people person, so that to me just kind of hit hard, and I'm like, uh, not really, I don't really like that. Um, but yet again, as people in the military, I guess that makes sense as well, and if they want him dead, then they can hat, and they probably have something 
um, like a microphone and them to say like, oh man, like, like we, like we're being recorded. So we have to just say this just so we can have an eligible reason to shoot them. Um, so that's probably why that, that, uh, that they did that. So Duke somehow, some way, I don't know how he did this. He outran the boards. Everyone was shooting him and he was outrunning the boards. He even ran up a flight of stairs and then jumped out a window and then he walked away and they were like, how the hell did he manage to survive those gunshots and go on and uh, manage to dodge all those bullets that was going on? Um, so, after, uh, after that, uh, Doc, uh, Colonel Hawk was on the phone, um, and he was like, yeah, we cut to a panel of Dr. Hawk, I've, I'm sorry, Colonel Hawk being on the phone with someone and being like, he's still alive, okay, like, we'll take care of it, thank you, he shuts the phone off and he's like, well, Duke betrayed us, we got one of our own Americans who, um, who betrayed us. And I'm sorry, guys, I forget the last two people that are in this book because I'm jumping ahead of myself here to what I want to say next. So this is just so, you know, I don't look like, yeah, just so my thing doesn't go up with, you know, whatever. I'm just do this for a hot second, act like I'm talking about something when I'm really not because I just don't want the caption to be looking down without a, um, without a book like I'm about to do now, but I'm just gonna keep looking at the camera and look down with my eyes just to make sure that I'm finding the thing, but I'm still gonna talk. Okay, so, Colonel Hawk went on and he was talking to, I, I got the two characters' names, he was talking to, um, the one lady and he's like, hey, Duke betrayed us and, um, like one of our, he's one of our own and he just betrayed us and she went okay well duke is really good how are we supposed to find him he's very incognito and um colonel hawk was like well here's the thing though he's an american and to be an american we need americans so he called up stalker and rock and roll i've never really i don't really know too much about gi joe except for snake eyes cobra commander duke and um Shadow, the the dude with the white outfit, like Snake Eyes' main arch enemy, Shadow, him, 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 I forget his name, but him, I would know his name if I saw his name, um, so I think it's Shadow, I could be absolutely wrong, but, uh, yeah, so they called them up, um, so overall, before I get to the next preview for Cobra Commander, um, because it's in the back of the book here, so I might as well talk to it. But overall, the story was pretty solid. It went pretty quickly. Now, once again, i on a little bit of time limit, so I made it go a little bit quicker. But also, whenever it comes down to panels with, uh, with not really many, um, like, panels with not so many words going on, and it's just action scenes, I normally go on and, um, just kind of skip over, like, the action stuff, unless if there's, like, a really, really cool shot, I'm like, oh, man, I should, like, I'm not gonna worry about putting it away until after I'm done recording this, that's just gonna be a waste of fucking time, I'm gonna keep holding this and talking about it so I can have a thumbnail, um, that would be a perfect fucking thumbnail, um, so, so, like I said, overall, it's pretty good, I'm not, I'm not that big of a military guy, but yet again, I enjoy talking about it. I enjoy some of the stuff that goes on in it. I, it could be one of my least interests, but it's still it's one of those, like, oh, I'll talk about it and be interested in it, you know. Um, so, and once again, it's this book went pretty fast, and if you're someone who just likes to look at the art panels for the action scenes, then you're gonna have then this book is gonna go a little bit slower for you but still once again though for me who's not only on time limit right now but just someone who skips over those uh those art panels which still though i looked at some of them they were pretty cool like that transformer looking guy he was really cool um 
So, there's that. But I do like the design of Duke as well. I wish we got to see him more in like an army style thing. But I think that we're going to get more into that once we get into like issues 2 and 3. And when we actually get to see Fook, see Duke fight most of these guys. Um, So, overall the main story, pretty good. Very good. Uh, pretty good. Very solid. Um, I can't wait to read issue 2. I'm gonna, this is one of those indie things I'm going to really be into for Image. And now since I read number 1, did a review on it. By the time number 2 comes out and number 3, I'm going to keep doing review on it every time that it comes out. So that's a guarantee. Um, so now I might as well talk about the Cobra Commander thing. Um, this is going to be pretty short. It's just some guy, I think it was Cobra Commander himself, he went to a bar. Uh, he talked with a long S thing like you know how like a snake sizzles like basically that and they're like what's with the lisp man and they like pat him on the back and be like hey like i don't know how you how you got out here it's very snowy without like a vehicle so oh well uh and by the time he went out uh this one guy went into his truck and then the guy went who went to the bar that had the long s lisp thing whatever um, he's like, hey, your truck would do nicely, and he killed the guy, and he stole his truck, and then the bartender was like, hey, you didn't pay, god damn it, his truck is gone, and the one lady looked at the ground and was like, oh my god, he's like, what's that, and he looked at the ground, and he's like, oh my god, and it was just, you just saw the guy's arm with the, the blood with a Cobra Commando symbol, um, or some sort of G.I. Joe symbol, I think it's Cobra Commando, I don't know, but that was just to... For just as like a sneak preview for what's going to go on for the Cobra Commander series, which I don't know when it's coming out, but actually I can tell you guys when it's coming out. It's coming out, um, Jan so it's coming out this month, January 2024. So in fact, right there, Cobra Commander, January 2024. Issue 1 now, by image, so, there's that, so anyways guys, I'm gonna let this video go, I'm gonna save it for Sunday, or well, I guess, today, for you guys, and then, tomorrow's video will be Monday, which means, you guys only got two more days, for me it's a little more than two days, it's four days, but for you guys, it's two more days, until Tuesday, episode 10, which is the big episode, it is the Infinity Gauntlet review, so, you guys got to make sure to stick around for that and watch. Anyways, guys, I got to let you go. I'm running very close on time here, and it's about time for me to go. So, please make sure you like this video. Um, Make sure you comment down below. Let me know what you guys want me to do, a to do a review on next. I'm open to suggestions. I have about ten to 11,000 comic books with still more on the way. Um, But still, it doesn't. I don't have every issue that you can think of, so... Please recommendations on that will be great. And if you do want me to do a review on a book, I will gladly do it because I am open to reading more books. And I'm not only doing this to get more content out there um, on my YouTube channel, but because I have so many books I still need to read. So anyways, guys, make sure you do subscribe if you do like comic book reviews because I will be doing daily comic book reviews. So you do so you guys do have something to watch. And um, also make sure, and like I said, comment down below, let me know what you guys want me to do review on next, or just in the future. And make sure you hit the like button as well, just to get the YouTube algorithm up. I hope you guys have a very nice day. Uh, I'm, I'm walking right now, so, but I will be uploading this video while I am walking some point in the day. So, yeah, I will, um, I will see you guys then. Peace.